welcome back to the That's a Good Idea show from James River Kids. This show is all about good ideas from you, good ideas from us, and good ideas from God's Word. And today's show is going to be so much fun because today we're... Wait a second. Did you hear that? Is your phone ringing? You might want to answer that really quick. I'll wait. Oh, it's my phone? Oh, just a second. I'm so sorry. Let me see who it is really quick. Oh, you guys, it's my sister, Maxie. Did you know that I have an identical twin? She looks just like me. Let's answer it and say hi. Oh, hi, Tweem. Guys, it's my sister. And I call her Tweem because one time we went to another country and everybody there called us Tweems. So that's what I call her. It's stuck. Tweem, what are you doing? I am about to go into Target. Oh, that's fun. Is. Guess what I'm doing right now? What? I am on the Good Idea Show with James for Kids. Hi, everybody. She said hi. <laughs> well, I'm so glad that you called so that everyone can meet you. That's so fun. Aw, thanks for introducing me to everybody. Of, this was fun. Of course. Well, we'll let you get back to your grocery shopping. Okay, bye. Okay, love you. Bye. Love you too. See ya. Guys, that was so fun. I'm so glad that you got to meet my sister. And you want to know something? She's not just my sister. Maxie is my best friend. And today's show is all about friends. So before we go any further, I want you to see a couple of old pictures of me and Maxie. Check this out. Isn't that so funny? Look at our snowsuits. They're so puffy. Oh, this one is one of my favorites. Our hair was so curly. Check out this picture. It's from when we're a little bit older. Can you tell who's who? I love my twin so much. She's my best friend. Well, guys, that was so fun. I'm glad I got to show you some of those pictures. And I'm so glad I got to introduce you to my best friend because today's show is all about friends. And I am so excited. We've got some really fun surprises for you. Plus, we're going to tell you about a friend that you can have. It all starts in just 30 seconds because we have to do a dance party. But this week, before you start dancing, go find a friend. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go! Do you have your friend? It can be a sibling, it can be your mom or your dad, your grandma or your grandpa, or even a fluffy stuffy. I hope you're ready for a friend dance party. Let's go! Now get ready for That's a Good Idea. Well, hello, boys and girls, and do I have a story for you. It's a story found in the kingdom of James River Kid. And in this kingdom is a castle, a castle called YouTube. And in this castle, a treasure, a very special treasure, all about friendship. Behold! Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Wow. These oh. Sonic Cheddar Poppers are so good. You've got like the cheesy creaminess and with the little spicy jalapeno and the breading. I mean, oh, yeah. it's like this is the ultimate best friend relationship right here. It's like these these guys are besties. All, all three of them. They're just besties hanging out all together. It kind of reminds me of our friendship, you know, I mean, like this, the, our friendship is a sonic cheddar popper. Yeah, mm. I, um, I don't really see that. Actually, uh, I was thinking that that our friendship is more like these chili cheese tots. You know, you got to start with a firm foundation. That's what the tots are—that firm, solid foundation. And then you got that ooey goodness with the chili on there, and then, you know, chili full of beans, full of fun. That's kind of like me, you know. And then you got the cheese that's on top, holding it all together. That's like you, you know. I call it, I call you the big cheese anyway, you know. So I think that works that you are the big cheese that holds us all together, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's our friendship right there. Were you talking? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Chili cheese tots. But either way, our friendship 
mm-hmm. is classic. Mm-hmm. Classic, timeless, stood yep. the test of time. We've had some great memories. We have. We've been friends for a long time. You know what? Flashback. Flashback. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and your mind. Miles from your nice warm bed. You just remember what your old past said. Boy, you got a friend in me. <laughs> I, I love you. I love you. You're my best friend. You're my best friend. I'm, a, I'm gonna get your name tattooed on my shoulder. Oh, uh, I'm gonna probably just print a t-shirt because tattoos hurt. You're the cheddar popper in my world. You're the chili cheese on my tots. <laughs> oh, what a treat that was, exploring the treasure of friendships in the kingdom of James River Kids. Well, join us next week as we continue our quest as we explore these treasures found in the kingdom of James River Kids. <laughs>
There you go. So pretty. Oh, boys and girls, look at that. How pretty. That is so fun. We'll make friendship bracelets with your friends. Take pictures. What yes. else? Um, oh, you could write letters to your friends. Oh. Maybe if you have a friend that lives far away, mm -hmm. then you can write letters and stay in touch. That is such a great idea, Katie. You know what, boys and girls? We want to see what you do with your friends. So take a picture or write it down. Post it on Instagram and tag James River Kids. We can't wait to see them, right? Yes, I'm so excited. They'll have so many great ideas. You're totally right. It's going to be awesome. See you later. Bye. Hey, boys and girls. We've had so much fun on today's Good Idea Show talking all about friendship. And right now, we're going to jump into God's Word and look at a story where Jesus was really near his disciples and they learned that God is always with them. Before we do that, I wanna teach you this one verse. In Proverbs chapter 18, verse 24, it says, there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And you know what? I used to watch this song that teaches this verse. It's really, really old and I wanna show it to you right now. There's a friend who will stick by you no matter what. He's always there to listen to you and help you. He understands and loves you even when you're grumpy or selfish. He's a true friend. His name is Jesus. From Proverbs 18 verse 24, there is a friend who is sticks closer than a brother. There is a friend a friend who sticks. A friend who stinks? No, a friend who sticks. Oh, you mean like glue or peanut butter? Well, something like that. There is a friend, a friend who sticks. Closer than a brother. There is a friend, a friend who sticks. Closer than a brother. A friend. so fun. That song gets stuck in my head. I'll be singing it all day long. Well, in our Bible story, it's in Mark chapter 4, verse 35 through 39, and we learned that Jesus' disciples were going through a storm, and they forgot that their best friend, Jesus, the Son of God, was with them. And when you have a friend in God, you need to know that lots of things, in fact, everything is going to be okay. Let's check out this story time with Cami to remind us of the Bible story. Hey friends, my name's Cami, and I'm so excited today to join you for story time. And I'm gonna share a story from one of my favorite books, the Jesus Storybook Bible. Are you ready? Find a comfy spot and sit back, here we go. Today's story is called The Captain of the Storm. This is actually found in the Bible in the books of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. I'm gonna read it from here. Here we go. The sun was going down. The air was warm and still, like a nice summer day. Let's go across the lake, Jesus said to his friends. Jesus had been helping people all day, and now he was tired. 
So they left the crowds at the shore and set out in a small fishing boat. Jesus climbed into the boat to take a nap. As soon as his head touched the pillow, he fell fast asleep. It was a beautiful evening. The gentle breeze rustled the sails. The friends were chatting happily as they headed out into the middle of the lake. Everything was perfect, just right for a nice, quiet sail. Do you think it stays nice and quiet? Let's turn the page and find out. They were only about halfway across when out of nowhere, whirling winds swept across the lake, fierce and strong like a hurricane. A blinding flash of lightning lit up the sky, thunder roared right overhead. The storm blew the water, towering waves that hurled the little boat up, 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 and then sent it hurling, crashing down, down, down. The fishing boat was blown and buffeted, tossed and turned back and forth, up and down, left and right, round and round. And in the middle of the storm, Jesus was sleeping. Now Jesus' friends had been fishermen all their lives, but never in all the years of fishing on this very lake had they ever once seen a storm like this one. No matter how hard they struggled with the ropes and the sails, they couldn't control their boats. This storm was too big for them. Oh my goodness, what is gonna happen next? But the storm wasn't too big for Jesus. I love that part, I'm gonna say it again, ready? But the storm wasn't too big for Jesus. Help, they screamed. Wake up, quick, Jesus. Jesus opened his eyes. Rescue us, save us, they shrieked. Don't you care? Of course Jesus cared. This was the very reason he had come, to rescue them and to save them. Jesus stood up and spoke to the storm. Hush, he said. That's all. And the strangest thing happened. The wind and the waves recognized Jesus' voice. They had heard it before, of course. It was the very same voice that made them in the very beginning. They listened to Jesus and they did what he said. Immediately, let's say that again, ready? Immediately, the wind stopped, the water calmed down, it glittered innocently in the moonlight, it lapped quietly against the side of the boat as if nothing had happened. The little boat gently bobbed up and down. There was deep stillness and a great quiet all around. Then Jesus turned to his wind-torn friends. Why were you scared, he asked. Did you forget who I am? Did you believe your fears instead of me? Jesus' friends were quiet, as quiet as the wind and the waves, and into their hearts came a different kind of storm. What kind of man is this? They asked themselves anxiously. Even the wind and the waves obey him, they said, because they didn't understand. They didn't realize yet that Jesus was the Son of God. Jesus' friends had been so afraid They'd only seen the big waves. They had forgotten that if Jesus was with them, they had nothing to be afraid of. No matter how small their boat or how big the storm. I love that story so much because you know what, friends? It's true. It's from the Bible and it really happened. And it's true for you and for me. No matter what storm we may be facing, we can know that we don't have to be afraid because Jesus is always with us. That's so great. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Isn't that so great, boys and girls, that once Jesus woke up, he calmed the storm and the disciples, they realized, wow, 
Their friendship with Jesus, their friendship with God, means that even in the middle of a really crazy storm, everything would be just fine. You know, the last verse I wanna share with you guys is in James chapter two, verse 23. And it's talking about a guy named Abraham that believed God. Guess what, boys and girls? That's how we become friends, by believing God, by inviting Jesus into our hearts. And it says this, it says that Abraham was even called a friend of God. Boys and girls, you and I can be friends with God. If you have Jesus living in your heart, guess what? God calls you his friend. And that is really good news. Boys and girls, I hope that you think about that today. That maybe, maybe you're not with a friend today, but you need to know you have a best friend, God, who is always with you. What's up, everybody? The big idea from Sunday was so, so awesome. In fact, I think I'm gonna do it right now. Here we go. My God is always with me. Ah, I love that big idea so much. Now we wanna see you do it. My God is always with me. My God is always with me. Hey kids, I hope you've had an incredible time on today's episode of the That's a Good Idea show. We've had so much fun with all of our friends, but right now, before the show is over, you know what time it is. Say it with me. It's mail time, mail time. Come on, let's do it one more time. Mail time, mail time. And I am so excited to open up this mailbox because I know inside here, say it with me, are some very good ideas. I can't wait to see what we got this week. Let's check it out. <gasps> Guys, in here we have two good ideas. Let's see who they're from. <gasps> this one is from my friends Bo and Lauren, and they said that we should have a worship party. You guys, I think that's a really good idea. In fact, if you click the button right underneath me that says worship party, you can have a worship party of your very own. Can't wait to see how it goes. All right, let's see what this next one says. This good idea is from Emerson, and he said that you should build an entire town out of Legos. Emerson, that's such a fun, good idea. If you do that, make sure that you take a picture and send it to us so that we can show everyone. I can't wait to see it. Well, I hope you've had a great time with us on the That's a Good Idea show. Remember, your God is always with you, and you've got a friend in us too. Oh, and don't forget, you have good ideas. We can't wait to see you next time. Bye.